Good afternoon. We want to welcome you to this uh, special meeting, emergency meeting of the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court, posted for today, November 2nd, 2015, at 2 o'clock. It is now after 2. President of our Commissioner Cuellar, Precinct 1, Commissioner Palacios, Precinct 4, and myself, we have a quorum. Please join us in our Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please bless our county, our people, keep them safe. Bless our leaders who are doing their best and take care of us. Amen. 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 Judge Commissioners, we have no one signed up for open form today. All right, under item number five, our purchasing department. Actually, Judge, if I may, under uh, yes, under the Purchase Department 5A, I'm going to ask the Chief to uh, to talk about the uh, continuance of the local state of disaster under Texas Government Code Section 418.108. Judge and Commissioners, I come before you requesting authorization to extend the state of disaster declaration that was signed last Tuesday and continue it through the duration of uh, this event. We got another rain event coming in this between Thursday and Friday. And we want to just be precautious in case our areas that have already been impacted may get impacted again. And I'll give you a good example. Uh, Hurricane Patricia impacted the whole state of Texas last week. And then on the weekend, we had another impact with that cold front with Patricia and the low that was in the Gulf. And got, gave us over 10 inches of rain in the Precinct 1 area, Willis County, Cameron County area. Then on... Friday, we got impacted again. Luckily, Precinct 1 got a flyby shower, probably about an inch. But then our, our, our county of Willisie and our county of Cameron got impacted significantly that they had to do emergency uh, procedures to put pumping activations into place, which Willisie County already had, but they had to open up shelters, vice versa. But then, using the example of the Austin-San Antonio area, that they were only expecting very minimal rain, and they got impacted by tornadoes and all the destruction that happened in the uh, in the Floresville area, which damaged schools, residents, and businesses. And we're just doing this as a precautionary measure for this purpose. Do we have any any idea how many people in our county have been impacted? As of right now, the preliminary numbers that we have is approximately thirteen. I mean, three thousand households. In, within the city of Dana, city of West Loco, and in Precinct 1. And what are the benefits that uh, 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 that arise out of uh, continuing this uh, state of disaster? What benefits to these individuals? Well, it's not just to the individuals, but to the county. Should we get impacted again by another heavy rainfall, this would become a continuous to the events that have occurred from the uh, Patricia and the low and then the... the the rains that we got on Friday, and it would continue with the event. What the state of Texas is trying to do, and they're here today with FEMA and SBA, what they're trying to do is create one model for the whole state of Texas to send to Washington. And this would just be as a follow-through in case we get more impacted. And if we get more residents impacted, this will serve as a, as a, as a, as a, as a backup to or we're already in place to, to push further numbers up to the state. So, and to the, go ahead, sir. How long would this be moved up? Uh, up uh, how, how long can we stretch it? This one is indefinite until we we make the decision to cut it off. Uh -huh. Just like we did it with the event from the May June event, that we it was probably about 45 days that we had it going. Then we finally cut it off after the the June 22nd event, which is about a week and a half, two weeks after that event. That's when we cut it off. Move for approval. A second. Uh, those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Judge. Item number two. Item number two is the inaction of the contract with Edgebrook, which is under recently awarded under Hidalgo County. The contract number is C15258-08118. We just want authorization. If, if need be, we can activate it, and all we want is the authorization of the Commissioner's Court to have that authorization already. And In case we need it. 
In case we need it, yes, sir. Move for approval. Second. What did the city of Kingsville have to do with this? That was the old contract. That was the old contract that we were on a piggyback. And now we're trying we, to activate the old contract. No, we're activating ours. If we activate, it'll be ours that we just that we did back in June. Yes, in June. Months ago. Yes. All right. Well, those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. In, in closing, before before you close, Judge, I just want to say one thing. Precinct one, his staff. Commissioner Cuellar and his staff has done an awesome job of maintaining everything with mutual aid components, with pumps and equipment from our part local partners and other counties. In turn, we have also provided pumps to, to other counties from our municipal agencies that have assisted. We have done this at zero cost of rental of any type of equipment. It's all been done with the community. The, the team effort that showed back in May, June is shown here again. And I want to commend Commissioner Cuellar and his staff. You judge for the support that you've given us, and you saw the significant impact that Saturday. Commissioner Palacios, thank you very much for offering all those pumps to yes, Precinct 1. Mr. Herra, thank you for, you know, we've been keeping you abreast of everything that's been going on. You're aware, Mr. Crane, thank you for your support in these last couple of days for your advice. And that's how we've been able to make it happen. Thank you all very much. I want right. to thank also the judge and the rest of the commissioners. Ms. Saldana, you've been great with us. You've been there. I know the judge was riding up there on during the last weekend, and uh, and I really appreciate that, all your support and, and help. And the sheriff department, uh, everybody's been in a drainage district, so uh, I, w I just want to thank everybody. Working together, we can do a lot more and at lower cost. Well, I'd like to thank my staff because they were also a in the, in the thick of things with it, uh, and your staff, Commissioner Palacios, they've been very supportive. Well, we never want to forget that while we may be divided into four precincts, we are still one county and we're all in this together. Yes, sir. Uh, what about purchasing? Do we have, need any action on on that on, on item five? No, that, that, those were the two action items that, that were taken, and, and uh, we put it all for consistency mm -hmm. it's under the purchasing department. Okay. So... So then no other need? There's uh, no other need. And judge, motion we, to adjourn? Well, right before we adjourn, just to announce it again, I don't know if it's going to be televised or for the for the uh, report that you give out, Ms. Julia, uh, our commissioner's court will be next week, Tuesday on the 10th, 9 and 9.30. Move to adjourn. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen.